Moving on, up for conversation is about Nollywood actress Damilola Adigbite, who cautions women to be careful with car mechanics. So um, I'm sure she was speaking from experience. We have yep. the video, we'll probably play it very soon, but um, I, I like how she said it. I mean, she said, let me pick the points I got from her. She's been driving, her first car was like 10 years ago, right? Secondly, she has a Benz. And then third, uh, the bill that was given to her was about 350,000 Naira. And at the end of the day, I think she spent, no, I don't know if it's nothing now, that side was not very clear, but what we, they were going to fix was just a, a rubber that um, shifted. So um, this mechanic of hers that she's been using for over 10 years has been ripping her off, and she's just finding out now. And um, she's always been fighting for this mechanic, even when her friends tell her, you know what, this guy does not understand the kind of car you drive now. You should change him. And she's like, you know, I'm comfortable with this guy. I've been using it for a very long time, so I think you should do my stuff for me. But apparently, this guy has been chopping her real good. And unfortunately, the guy's Christmas money is not going to come true, <laughs> right? And another part that um, I picked was her saying, you need to share um, your car um, quotes. Or what, how do you put With it? With a man, make sure. With a man. Yeah, get a man involved. Must it be a man? Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. first, first of all, I go into uh, issue. Mm. Um, this was like some time ago, like last week or so, man. Let me gush over a debut first. I mean, damn it, she's she's stunning. Over everybody. No, she's, I have a few people I gush over. Okay. You know, she's stunning. She's beautiful. Like, she's one of my sweethearts. You gush over Princess Shingo. You gush Shingo. over Angela Okoye. You gush over who was the who last else again? one? Exactly. Okay, and those, this those, is four. Okay. Said, she's my. She's a sweetheart. She is. Mm. You know, and, and like. And I just need to find a way to let her know pretty soon. Uh, mm. she's, she's, there's something just sweet about her. Mm -hmm. So that being said, Noted. I'm surprised that um, I think with her, it's just coming to terms that mechanics are like, they're like demons in disguise. Mm -hmm. I mean, anybody who's ever, anybody who ever, who's ever dealt, had a deal with a mechanic would know that they're, they're, they're liars, they're cheats. They will do anything to rip you over your money. Um, just uh, something as, as simple as a bow joint could be bad in the car. They will tell you then that I, the entire engine needs to be changed. Mm -hmm. You know, just a small thing as maybe, um, uh, what's it called? What's it called now? It could be the tiniest thing as a plug that needs to be changed. They will inflate it and tell you, if you don't do something about this car right now, the engine is going to knock out. So I'm surprised that that came to us as a surprise, that you had a mechanic who you've been using for a long time. And that is the more reason why he's going to bill you of your money and rip you up because you trust him. So anything he tells you goes, you know. And to find out that the cash was, the message business was using, the bill was given to about over 300 k and not even a fraction of that money was needed to fix what was bad in our car. Mm -hmm. It was just a rubber, and then for one of one of the bow joints that went bad, mm -hmm. you know, and so the car was having a whole lot of shaking in this movement. Mechanics, well, some mechanics, let me not generalize, <laughs> some mechanics have perfected the art of inflating stuff. I saw a comment yeah. on the post on a blog, and the person said, even this mechanic, it's just trying to gain your trust. That once they get your trust, you are going to be the bank and the ATM. So once they need something and you're there, they inflate the whole price and get the money out. Yeah. So even, even us as guys, we're still skeptical and suspicious of our mechanics when they tell us stuff. So that's mm -hmm. what we try as much as to know as much body parts of a car that you can know, mm -hmm. the entire engine. So when they mm. tell you this, you want you want to confer with somebody else. You want to you want to cross check with somebody else. Even as guys, we do that. Mm -hmm. You know, and she said something very important for ladies out there. Not everyone will know anything about a car. Mm -hmm. Most women just enter the car and they drive. And so mm -hmm. yes, cross check with your male friends and say, you know what? Hey, my mechanic said this. That was a good advice she gave. Right, but at the same time, and that also oh, made me the, feel some kind of way. There are men that don't know anything about cars. The way she has it's been driving a, a car for ten years, it's a given. and she still doesn't know a thing about car. There are so many men that have driven cars for twenty years interest, and they don't know. Right? It's all it's about interest. interest. Yeah. So I think um, she's probably part of those that have seen um, cars and um, the parts of car and plumbing and painting and electric, electric, electrical works as a men's thing. So they are not interested. They just want to enjoy it and move on. But there are women. I've met women that... They are knowledgeable. They I agree know you. everything yeah, about the car they are driving. In fact, yeah. my mom, she used to drive a C20 bus and this was like way 1980s. And she knew everything. In fact, I, the knowledge of the car, of cars that I know or vehicles I know 
came from her because she That's will cool. tell you, oh, this is this, this is this is how it is. You cannot come as a mechanic and tell her this is changing. She will first of all ask you, why is this affecting this car in yeah. this way. You have to explain it. And when you explain it and it doesn't add up, then there's a problem. She knows she has to meet somebody else. So it's because you're just uninterested. So maybe the advice should be run it by someone who is knowledgeable in that area, yeah. not necessarily a man. That's how I feel about it. Well, but, it. That's, but the, 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 the cliche is most men are knowledgeable about let's car Let's do the parts. cliche, but let's I mean, take so, the video, though. The video yeah. is ready. Please, if you own a car and you feel like your car needs some work to be done on it, you want to go to the mechanics, please. Every time the mechanic gives you a quote, have him break it down. Details. What do you want to fix? How much is this? How much is that? What is this? What is that? And, you know, sum it up. And after he does that, always run the quote by a guy. A male friend, your boyfriend, your daddy, your husband, a colleague, Always have a guy check it out before you make payment. These guys are wild. My car a couple of days ago, uh, no, what am I saying? Well, about two, three weeks ago, was making some kind of sound at the back. And I was going to take it to my mechanic, but a friend of mine said no, that he would take it to his mechanic because he's more of a band specialist. And he sorted that out. I saw the bill. Wow. So... Fast forward to like two weeks after, my car started to make another sound. And then I um, I had it taken to my mechanic because I didn't know, you know, the mechanic that my friend had taken it to. But anyway, Brian, but anyway, um, my mechanic now gave me a quote, okay, the bill. My spirit was just like, this is off, something's not right here. So I sent the bill to the guy who I bought my car from just to help me look through and see that everything was okay. By the way, I'm going to tag him at the end of this video. He does not even know that I'm doing this. This is not a sponsored post. His after sales services, top notch, nothing like it I've ever experienced. You buy a car from him, he's always there at your beck and call if you need assistance or help with anything. Great job, I'm gonna tag him and if you're looking to buy a car, please check him out. He's one of the best, I can assure you. So anyway, um, so I sent the bill to him and he said to me, this is so inflated, this is really high. I said to him, I don't even know what's going on because I just, it's not even, it's like two weeks, this car went in and got thorough work done on it. So I sent him that bill and the breakdown. This is why I say give it to guys because they know. Me, I was just seeing front, ball, joint, stabilizer, something screw, something pad. I didn't even know. But he said to me, what this guy is, what your mechanic is claiming he wants to fix now is what these guys have already sorted. So uh, he said to me, go back to the, you know, uh, to your friend's guys and tell them that what they fixed, something's off. So I went there, and then they said to me, oh, you know, take a seat. We'll sort it out. In less than, what, like 30 minutes, they had sorted it out. Apparently, just one little piece of rubber came off and needed to be replaced. That's what my mechanic gave me a bill of almost 350000 naira for. That's the gist. Lessons so. learned. Mm -hmm, lessons said, learned. Lessons it took her 10 so, years to learn it. So she always <laughs> wanted everything about our car now by mm -hmm. a guy, and that's, that's a lesson she's learned, and so... That's that's it for her, man. She looks so good in that video. Naturally. Run it by a knowledgeable person. That's all. Moving on to the next story. What, Never... you, what you got against what anybody man though? Because we need to break the barrier of this like is that? a man thing and this is a woman's thing. We're all living oh, in this that world. Role. That's the point. Okay, I agree with you. We need on that. to break down the yeah. role thing. Yeah, I agree. They are female mechanics. I hope you know. Yeah, of course, yes, and they do. They do excellently well. I agree. I, I see where you're coming from on that ground. So I agree so with you. So you not see it since you're looking Touché. at that damn little sense. Wow.